Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. Those stories momentarily, but first, fears of a sudden jump in the number of fuel tankers on Central West Highways have been confirmed. Shell today admitted it will go ahead with plans to close its Dubbo depot, putting an extra 800 trucks on the roads every year. Workers will lose their jobs when the depot closes at the end of November. These charred remains are all that's left of a road smash between Orange and Parks last week. A fuel tanker and a van collided. The truck driver escaped, but the fuel exploded, incinerating both vehicles and the driver of the van. With today's announcement, Shell is closing its Dubbo fuel depot, along with sites in Canberra and Tamworth. That means plenty more trucks on the road instead of trainloads of fuel to the central depots. Shell says it will take 800 trucks a year to replace the fuel currently brought to Dubbo by train. Last week in the Parks Orange Road, I've travelled on it very recently and uh, I was gobsmacked about how bad it was. Um, I don't know who was at fault, that's not the problem. The, at fault really are governments who allowed our infrastructure to fail. Seven Dubbo workers will be out of a job a month before Christmas. They held a short wake over lunch at a local watering hole this afternoon. Amid claims Shell has scrapped rail freight because of a withdrawal of government subsidies, Mrs Fardell is pushing for both levels of government to go the other way, contacting state and federal ministers to keep dangerous goods off our roads. Asking them what they could do for businesses such as Shell who have relied on the rail to transport the petrol product. Is there any allowance they can make of business to make it more viable? John Ryan, Wind News.